Good afternoon, everybody. So I'm here to talk about the new age winning way in sports. In 2003, when I went with the Indian cricket team in, to Pakistan, I met Javed Mianda, the former Pakistani captain, and I told him about what we were doing, and he said, cricket is a sport which has to be played on the field. I quickly realized that he belongs to the old school of thought, because today, all of us are looking for information, which is on the field, off the field, wherever we can, we can get some additional information, which can give us an extra edge. So that's what we are, we are going to do, uh, talk about today. I started off as a cricketer. cricketer. Cricket has been an integral part of my life. I got my school admission through cricket, college through cricket, and my job as a banker through cricket. So I played for the bank, and I was immersed in the, in the sport. And I was fanatic about it, aspiring to play for the country. But I go on to represent the country as a performance analyst, not as a cricketer. It happened because my father bought a camera, video camera. The first day it was released in Singapore, he bought a camera. And the first thing I did was take it to my nets. I was playing. I asked my friend to take the video, then saw a replay of what I had done during the net, net session. And the same thing I did when I was coaching a school, which was when I stopped playing the game. I coached a school. And then I took the same camera again, shot the videos of the players, and showed it to them and give feedback on that. So how did it start? I mean, so when I, when, I, when I was playing, coaching was made, you know, primarily done through naked eye. The coaches saw, the coach's eye was the video camera. So he saw me playing and provided feedback to me. This slide pretty much defines my journey also, because we started with, as a cricketer, I thought, OK, watching a, a person play is needed to provide feedback. Then I realized I can do it better with cameras, because I can watch it in slow motion. I can play frame by frame. I can compare old and new. So it gave me an additional edge. So this camera brings me an interesting story also. Years back when we started, and when we took to the market, the coaches never understood what we were saying. We were talking about visual-based coaching, and they were all oriented towards naked eye coaching. So there was a lot of resistance. People told me that you're making the game complicated. Keep it simple. Keep it super simple. But I believe that multimedia can play a pivotal role in coaching. So despite all the comments of the coach, I started to tell myself that, OK, let me show the world how to use it. So I started providing services, and that became a big hit. Soon I was working with all the top academies in the world, the top coaches in the world. So soon the word spread around. I analyzed about 10,000 cricketers in the company of all the top coaches. Soon the word spread around, and then the breakthrough happened. John Wright, the Indian coach, he was setting up the support staff for the Indian cricket team. He was the architect of India's change. So when he told me that you want to make a presentation to all the coaches on visual-based coaching, I gladly agreed. I went there. It was initially meant to be a 45-minute session. And then I started addressing the coaches, which had all the former greats of the Indian cricket team. And then the session was so interesting that they asked me to continue for the entire day. So at the end of the day, John came and asked me, Ramki, do you want to work with the Indian team? There is a slot vacant as an analyst of the Indian cricket team. The money is not great, but. I said, John, forget about the money. No Indian would refuse that offer. It's a passion for billions. So I am on board straight away, and I joined the Indian team in 2003. So join, uh, when I joined, uh, John asked me to come and work with the Indian uh, team's camp. Before the Australia tour, we had a camp. So he asked me to come to Bangalore. And there we had the analysis session. I didn't know that I was going to be assessed by Sachin, Rahul, and Anil. So they came one by one after the practice session. And I, I looked at the videos, and they asked me what I felt, and then I gave whatever inputs I could. And they obviously gave a, a good feedback to John, and I was on board the Australia tour. So I asked Rahul Dravid okay, what kind of team meetings happened. And he said, uh, Ramki, nothing much. We all used to assemble in the coach's room. We used to order french fries and samosas, which are all banned today. And uh, we used to have an informal discussion. And uh, last five minutes, they'll say, tomorrow's the important game, Dil Se Kelo. That was the team meeting for India before he joined the team. 
So as is our forte, we made the meetings more interesting. So I asked Saurav Gangli, Saurav, do you know anything about the opposition, op opposition, about the Australian team? He said, Ramki, we don't collect any information about the opponents. Then I said, do you know somebody in ESPN? And he said, yes. Then I asked him to get the tapes of the Ashes series, which Australia had played against England. That was the recent series. And he gladly agreed, and he came to Australia with, armed with 25 VHS tapes. So I landed in Australia. I was locked inside my room. I didn't see the outside, of, outside world for one week. So for one week, I was digitizing all those 25 VHS tapes, then mining that and providing the information to the team. That was the start. And the team loved it. And fortunately for me, okay, they, they were success straight away. We won a test match in Australia after 15 years. So initial success, initial momentum always gives you an edge, right? So became more comfortable. And then of course there was resistance in all about, in always in India, it's all about how much you have played the game, what level have you played the game. In one of the sessions, uh, a few younger cricketers came and asked me sarcastically, Ramki, what level of cricket have you played? I told them that uh, I have not played big cricket like them. I played up to junior state, I was in the state probables, then faded out after that. But I told them one thing, and they said, they asked me what? I said, I'm far more intelligent than all 15 of you put together. <laughs> I had to put them down, but immediately came back and said, you guys are very skilled. I appreciate that. I have a lot of regard for that, respect for that, but I'm analytical. So forget about what cricket I have played and focus on what I have to add here. So if I'm adding value, I have a right to be here. Otherwise, I have to go and spend time with my family. Because living out of suitcases, though it looks very glamorous from outside, it's a tough job. Being with the Indian team is a very, very tough job. I mean, you don't see your family. And that was one of the reasons why I came out of the Indian team. After six years, my daughter sent me a message saying, we are your family, have you forgotten us? So I had to come back home and send my colleague who, traveled with the, who travels with the Indian team. So for now, 13 years, we've been part of the Indian cricket team and part of its success, various success stories. We played a small role, but a significant role at that. And we are all lucky to be part of all those moments. So what, what is the difference? Probably I, I can say that, okay, some of the milestones which I achieved along with the Indian cricket team was we changed the way they, they, they had the meetings. We changed the way they process information about the opponent. The first time there was competitive intelligence which was being flowing into the team. And for the first time we set up a back-end analytics team to help the Indian cricket team. Always, when we always have this Gora effect, you know. So whenever we started, uh, when I started, uh, people said, hey, is Australia doing this? If Australia is doing that, we will do that. So subconsciously, we are always asked to follow rather than lead. So we said, we'll make the world follow what we are doing. And for the first time, we are very close to it. No other cricketing board has the kind of support, back-end support, which we provide for the Indian cricket team. So one of the major milestones, I would say, was Virendra Sehwag. OK, what do we do? What is the analysis? OK, a lot of, lot of people have seen me sitting behind a computer, uh, watching it on television. They would see there is somebody who's sitting there behind the, behind the computer. I don't know what he does. So what we do is basically analyze the home team, the opponents, analyze every bit, not only the technical aspects, but also the tactical aspects. So one such thing where I was in, in, in uh, Pakistan, I was, Seva was out of form. So I was analyzing why. And I looked at his videos, I compared his old and new videos when he was performing well to when he was not performing well. And I found a small change, which is not visible to the naked eye. He was crouching more in his stance. And that was the reason for his failure. He was getting out more often because of that. He was getting cramped. So I called up Viru. I asked him, I have something to show you. Why did you come over? And we, he came over. We had a discussion for about an hour and a half. And then he's, he finally agreed, accepted my point of view, and then went and practiced. And after a week's time was the Multan game where he goes on to score 300 runs. And soon the word spread around to younger cricketers. Everybody fell in line. There was a lot more acceptance. So from the initial skeptical moments to having confidence, it's very important to get the buy-in of the players. 
gain buy in of the players buy in of the coaches buy in of every individual in the in the in the team and today we have worked with with all the players all the coaches for 13 years we've been serving the indian cricket team without any problem there is one complaint and you are out of the team and we always consider ourselves like players if you don't perform you are dropped so we are also players so if you don't perform we are out of the team so we've been continuing touch wood we've been continuing for 13 years now so virus was one success story then we also can show you a club which tells you exactly how we help our bowlers player mayank agarwal he was uncomfortable against short balls so you can see that there is a always a pattern and this information when provided to the team members it can be exploited and gives you a better chance not that we have all the information it makes you nobody you can you know nobody is going to score against you it's 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 about making it difficult for the player to score and get away with that so with the indian team we traveled around and we worked with all the ipl teams out of eight edition champions six edition champions are our clients so we also spread to other sports we went to the london olympics we participated with the hockey team uh, boxing weightlifting and athletics contingents there again i asked leander pace as to what was the team meetings like in davis cup that was in 2013 10 years after i joined the indian team i asked leander pace and he told me the same reply as what rahul dravid said they all used to meet up in a room have chai and an informal discussion so i asked him if i give a dossier on each of the player or on each of their opponent would it be helpful for them and he said it will be a gold mine of an information and he goes on to recollect how he would have told him about a particular weakness of sampras reed sampras so they had a casual discussion and he would have told him about the uh, weakness about sampras next day he goes on loses the first set during the break he remembers what he would have told him about sampras he goes on to exploit that and he goes on to win the only ever game against sampras so that's the power of data that's the power of information another success story which we had with the olympics 2012 olympics the top one is sahana kumari she was a high jumper she was not expected to qualify for olympics so we were working with the sports authority of india and they you know they absolutely sahana kumari was not nowhere near their plans of qualifying for the olympics so we worked with them and in that ns patela we we uh, you know had a, a video uh, shoot for every day almost during every day and we collected a lot of information and we found out that every time she was jumping she was hitting the bar so we analyzed the root cause and found out that she was taking off from very close to the bar if you see the left hand side of the video clip you can see that she's taking off from very close to the bar on the right hand side was the improvement was a remodeled effort which she made at the olympic qualifiers in hyderabad it is because of the jump she qualified for olympics and you can see the difference between the the uh, you know the uh, pre olympic qualifiers and olympic qualifiers so now she qualified for olympics so that's a one small contribution but has gone on to help an athlete qualify for olympics it's all about knowing what data to collect the second challenge is how to collect it whether you're going to use video cameras whether you're going to use sensors whether you're going to uh, see with the with the naked eye there are different ways of collecting information and all these information when processed it becomes intelligence which can can be converted into actionable insights which can be delivered to the team maybe because i was a visual person then from there i realized or experience that the power of data is far more higher than the video we can establish trends and patterns with data and use the video as a support document so now today we use data we collect data from different sources and then combine it and make sure, make it into an actionable insight and we use while showing it to the players we use the videos to authenticate that statement so the video is a support document then we got into data analytics performance related then we realized there is a whole lot of information in sports and why not fan fan analytics today the franchises don't have any information about the fan the transition from a fan from a casual fan to a fanatic the casual fan from a 
casual fan to a hardcore fan to a fanatic, the transition can be made possible only with the help of data. And nobody is even collecting those data. So now we are making sure that we set up the, the digital nervous system of any sports organization, which collects all the data. We mine all that information and provide the insights. So these are some of the infographics. We thought, OK, well, let's go towards the fans. But we're not changing our business. It's about analytics and uh, analytics-driven fan engagement. Then we go to the next generation fan. The next generation fan, today, the fan goes in search of information. Whereas we want to reverse that. We want to, the information to chase the fans. We want to you know, provide an unconditional serving of the sport. We developed an application which is integrated for the first time in the history of Facebook. We have integrated a live scoring engine with Facebook much before they launched their Facebook stadium. And finally, what is the big picture? It's going to take a long time for us to beat the Jamaicans in sprint. It's going to take a long time for us to beat the Chinese in diving and aquatic other events. It's going to long, take a long time for us to beat the Americans, the Europeans. But I'm sure that we can beat all of them in analytics, in sports analytics. India can be a global leader in sports analytics. We can just visualize. The big picture is about visualizing every sports organization in the world, every athlete in the world, giving us their videos, their database, their information. And we mine that information and provide the insights to them. When businesses all over the world can flock to India for business process, a BPO, why not an SPO? So with this, I thank one and all for this opportunity. Thank you.